Arpium. Listen. I had a talk with the Ark. All thanks to Tokarev. He got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? A deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that a checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, a Melnikov? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the Special Forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, I see. Well, this is great. Great! Yes, we are a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K-6, Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. K-6... Uh, Alpha, you say? Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters ever reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor! Thank you! Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information. Uh, but I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Uh, well, see you in the Ark. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? <laughs> I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking! Oh, the Minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantar complex. Katya and Kress tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Uh, surprising, really. Taking into account the number of priority targets there. So, we can hope for smooth sailing from here, and right to the very destination. It's not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So, I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. So, Yermak, where were we? You were saying, it's all about the results! Ah, yes. These soft-bellied attitudes must stop. The ends do justify the means. Well, I don't object. But not all ends can be called just. Exactly. And this is why, why I have been waiting for a chance like this for ages. And now everything seems to be coming together. It's the government. Don't you understand? Oh, but of course. Hmm. You don't seem to uh, quite grasp the importance, which is unexpected, especially after the news you just heard. <clears throat> yes, well, I say there is a government. So what? We spent so many years apart, so why worry now? Ah, but don't you see? They probably knew nothing about us. With the sheer power of enemy strikes directed at Moscow, they never expected so many of us to survive! And now, now we... we get to... 
forget to tell them Moscow still lives! And not only that, it also preserved a functioning civilization! Do you get that? All these years we were fighting a losing battle for mere survival! And now, and now we have a new goal! And what would that goal be? You don't get this, do you? The command center should have all of the command and control networks, all the intelligence. They should know where all the nukes hit, have complete fallout maps. They have everything. Information rules the world. And Metro is chock full of people. Put two and two together, we could repopulate the country. Yeah, of course not at once. First, we might have to take the country back, but we'll be doing this under the direction of a real government. People with all the necessary skills. And in the end, we will break out of the underground dead end we are in. Uh, it would be nice, sure. By the way, I meant to ask for some time now. How did you learn about the Yamantau bunker, Colonel? Oh, the information about the Ark Project I have is beyond a doubt. I'm saying this as a GRU officer. I had colleagues working there, preparing evacuation plans. So I've been briefed into it officially. So, now we just have to get there. And we will. We will. The journey won't be easy, though. <laughs> we were never looking for an easy way. Yes. I've been thinking about that for a long time. The Central Industrial District, a priority target. Katya did confirm my suspicions. The tracks might have survived partially, but the state they're in now is most likely terrible. I think we'll have to fix sections of the track. I think our people can handle it. Besides, I'm sure there will be side tracks. What do you think could have happened in the relatively intact territories in the meantime? That's a good question. Well, we are going to learn it pretty soon. Yes. Yes, that, that we will. We are approaching the Yamantau Bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. Car. What's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abandoned, but the truck is okay. Over. Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years. My whole life! And it was not spent in vain! Now I know it for a fact! Mama, look! Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh! Don't say that. Robert Colonel, it's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on! Passengers, get inside and button up tight! Yes, of course. Come on, Nastya. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for Artyom and me. How about me? 
You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. Take the Aurora back to the safe zone, and sit tight there! We'll do that right now! Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes sir! Great! Let's go! Damn, they've been counting this place. Where's the Moscow? Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> Look at all those cars. Artyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. Oh, no, 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 this is a bad place, now we shouldn't have come here, really. Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see, nobody home. How about we go back, huh? Поехали. Look! Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. See? We expect it. Why is it so deserted here? No gun placements, no patrols, not even lookouts. Why would they need any of that? A nuclear warhead couldn't take it out. thinking, I wonder. Yeah, this place could use some cleaning, at the very least. Sam, idiot, you know what? No need for us all to crowd the government, so you two better stay with Crest. Yes, sir, sir, yes, sir. Prepare a speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. 
Thanks for not giving up. Here goes nothing! Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. <coughs> so far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them! Watch your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. You fucker! Let me... let me go! You scum! Not one will escape! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though. Since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! <laughs> Get you ready! Burn this scum to ashes! So that not even the dirty fools remain! Now we'll be fought again! Good. <laughs> Artyom! Remains! Here. Colonel, sir, I think that's Thank enough. Thank you, Sam. 
But it is not. We have to get... But first, we must find Anna! I'm sorry. I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot! Start the main elevator up! Ready! Yeah. Elevator on the sir. move! ETA, we need cover! Yes, sir! Well done! We can hold up for that long! Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True. And quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge. And we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Your floor. Come on, Artyom.
Why did you shoot them? What the fuck? Here! Tasty meat! Ah! Ah! 